Burn the hole. Oh, it's much worse. It's much worse. <laughs> For thousands of years, the bow and arrow have been great at two things. Hunting and ruining someone's day. A normal arrowhead can obviously cause some serious damage. But what about a blunt-tipped arrow? Could they be a less lethal option for self-defense? Or are we talking a high-speed punch from a distance? Well, I picked up a bunch of blunt arrowheads to find out. As always though, do not try this at home. Unless you want to turn your backyard into some kind of medieval dodgeball game. Ooh, that sounds fun. We should actually do that. It does sound fun. But maybe we should figure out how much pain these blunt arrows cause first. And I thought I was the safety advisor. I'm getting safer the older I get. I'm getting old. But my joints have never felt better. Collagen peptides. Not sponsored. <laughs> For this experiment, I got five different blunt tipped arrows. We got some soft ones, some hard ones, and some pointy ones. We're going to slowly work our way up to the more dangerous looking ones. But once again, we have the 30 pound and 50 pound longbow. I'll be getting shot with both of these. I'm scared with the 50 pound for a couple of these arrows, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna try my best. What, do you, what are you gonna do if it sticks in your leg and it stays there? You gonna rip it out or you're gonna leave it there for a minute? You know, I think I'll just figure that out as I go. Why, why worry about that now? For safety precautions, we're supposed to leave the aerial until we can take him to a hospital and have it removed, otherwise he'll bleed out. You guys are bringing up a good point though. Maybe we should test it on this watermelon over here first on one of the more aggressive arrow tips to see what it does to that. Cause the normal arrow tip shot right through that with a 30 pound bow. You wanna shoot at it at the same time? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> For the watermelon test, I'm using the two worst looking blunt arrows that I have. As you can see, they're a little bit pointy. This one has some sharp edges to it. We're gonna shoot at this watermelon at pretty close range so we don't miss. So we can see what happens. Okay. Oh. <laughs> God, mother this thing is hard to draw. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, sh okay, I'll tell you when I'm ready. Ready, go. <laughs> Did it! Keep it there, Mark. Let me fire this one through it. <laughs> it's because I was more at an angle. That's what. <laughs> and this 50 pound bow is unwieldy. Okay. You're gonna get called out so hard. I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> he knows nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't miss this shot. <laughs> Embarrassing. There's a strong breeze. <laughs> Just delete that one. Just delete it. <laughs> hey Jake, when you cut this, can it just be like, you know, the first shot after I miss with Mark? So it's only like I took two shots. Please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guess I'm stronger. That arrow tip was different. <laughs> Let's inspect. As you can see, they both punched a hole through. This arrow tip is more slender. It has more of a cutting edge. Just it has those little pointy ends. A little bit more blunt looking. Bigger exit hole though. I'm actually surprised it shot all the way through. So we're gonna work our way up to these. Uh, <laughs> these are the ending arrows. I got some easier ones. And we're gonna start with a 30 pound bow. I don't know if we should use that one. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't get the, I didn't get the take where he actually hit it. What? We'll just say he missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not my fault. It took him like 20 times. All right. <laughs> Time for me to get shot. Starting with the least dangerous looking blunt arrow tip. It's like a little rubber head. Pretty soft. And we're gonna be starting with the 30 pound long bow. You want me to pull it all the way back? Sure. I won't miss. Okay. Burn the hole! That came right back at me. <laughs> Bounce right back at you? Yeah. Landed right next to me. You got cheese it Can I have one? Thanks. What else you got in there? Skittles. Can I have one? No. No. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can definitely handle the 50 pound bow with that one though. That tip. Mm -hmm. 50 pound bow, rubber blunt arrowhead. Burn the hole! Ah, yeah, that hurt worse. That hurt worse. That hurt worse. That hurt worse. Yep. Okay. Damn it. That's the weakest one too. I feel like a feel like a Charlie horse. Yeah. It's like I'm getting sucker punched in the side of the leg yeah. from like a little baby fist. <laughs> so these are like training arrow tips. They're meant so you can just practice shoot things, you know. Uh huh. Hence the the rubber thing there. Everything after this gets a lot worse. So. Let's move on. Should we throw some challenges in there? Maybe I shoot from 50 yards? You're gonna shoot the camera, people. I will let them spread out a little. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to a not so soft blunt arrowhead. Looks like this, it's a plastic tip. I think it's gonna be worse. We're gonna start with the 30 pound bow, once again at near point blank range. 
That one might cut you. We'll see. Yeah. Fire in the hole. Oh, it's much worse. It's much worse. <laughs> oh, it did. It, it got it. Low, low cut. You got me. You got call. me. Yeah. Uh huh. Good call. Wow, Mark, you are smart. You're, You're a smart cookie. This. You're wow. good at this. Predicting what happens to old H bones. Made a nice little circle. Ooh, that's nice. That looks good. I'm really liking archery. I feel like I should pick it up as a hobby. I think I'm starting to like archery less. Until you shoot me. Oh, that's right. That's right. And I get to pick the arrow, so. No, no, no. I get to pick. What? Well, I'm pick. eliminating the first arrow. All right, we'll do the second. I'm you got off it. easy last week, Mark. That's your fault. Yeah. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move on to the 50 pound bow. I'm starting to think for some of these ladder arrows, I might have to do it, not bare skin. Get your leather jeans in. <laughs> My leather chaps. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I own leather chaps, which I need to correct at some point. I do. I got some from Goodwill for 10 bucks. Are they ass? Yeah. Mine are just claw assless. Oh. It's a cheap cowboy costume. Bust it out. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the 50 pound bow. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's, that one skinned me even more. Nice. I'm sure that'll look cool in slow-mo. Well. If I hit your tattoo bullseye, circle around it, how much? 20 bucks. You get one shot. So if you miss, you pay me 20. All right, that wasn't part of it. That's okay. after the handshake. I should That's have put more conditions in. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Third. Blunt arrowhead. It's a little bit heftier than the last one. There's no gaps in between it. I think this is meant to kill some kind of small game. Maybe a maybe a rat. Squirrels, you yeah. know? Yeah. Stuff like that. Here's the deal. You're gonna shoot at me mm -hmm. and I won't react. Everyone has to like the video. Does that sound fair? Am I asking for too little? No, just enough. Jake, come here. Come Bring here. it in. Bring it in. Everyone shake the hand. Over yonder. Get in there. All right. Yeah. Sealed. I think there was some leftover like oh you got, tear got gas some papa <laughs> yeah don't touch your eyes oh no I did oh. oh sucks doesn't it yeah stuff's pretty toxic holy f fire in the hole oh dang it that was high that was high that's a good pose that's very proper that, this is how I was when I got shot. This is my pose I decided on. You didn't move, so that's not reacting. Oh God, you were like right there. <laughs> nice. I'm aiming higher, it looks like. It does seem to be that way. No 20 bucks. Double or you pay me 40 for the 50 pound draw? No chance. What? <laughs> Fire in the hole. <laughs> I don't even know where I hit you. Oh, I know. Is it the same spot as before? Oh, way up there. <laughs> yep. I think maybe my shorts half saved me from it. Yeah, they did. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it hurt a lot worse. <laughs> I decided not to react again, but good lord, was that hard. Yeah, those are ugly. And this is uh, with the nicer arrows. Mm -hmm. So years ago, I did a crossbow bolt, which oh, had yeah. like a screw tip on it. And I was so scared back then, we tried to tape over it, which didn't matter. It's still like punch through and cut me. <laughs> I feel like crossbow bolts fly a little bit faster depending on the draw strength and whatnot. Yeah. However, I'm saying that because the next two arrows I have are particularly scary. They are. So we're gonna move on to those. We're gonna start with the 30 pound draw to assess the easier one. I might be covered for the more scary one. Ooh. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Blunt arrowhead number four. Some of the points, the one I shot at the watermelon, definitely gonna bleed. Might go in a couple centimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six. I should have six holes. I'll hit it straight as I can. Perfect. Haven't missed yet. You haven't. But I mean, what are you like three feet away? You have no room to talk with the watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Burn the hole. Ah, did I? Oh my. Did you do that on purpose? No, I did. I finally missed. Why did it sound like you hit so high? What did you hit? Was it that? Yeah, it was that. Oh my God. <laughs> Just my bad. My fault. Makes me feel worse. Burn the hole. Ooh. I like saw it instantly. That was, looked really cool from my angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet it did. <laughs> Gnarly. And look at that, six. Six little holes. And I'm gonna stop showing that now because it's gonna look progressively worse from here. Yeah. 
<laughs> it didn't go through you. So I didn't think it would. <laughs> it's uh, it's too blunt on the end. Yeah. I think I can handle the 50 pound drawstring. I'm noticing with these blunt tip ones, the 50 pound isn't that much worse. Right. It's definitely worse, but it's not like significant. It's yeah. I'm not worried that it's gonna punch a hole through my leg. Yeah. But anyways, let's try the 50 pound draw bow. Same arrow, still on bare skin. After I clean up this. Quick show. Whoa. <laughs> Dedicate this one to my mom and pops. I think, I hope they're proud of me. I don't really know at this point, but I hope so. Burn the hole. I, they should be proud of me now, I think. I hit him, right? Oh, you hit me. Yeah, I was just <laughs> trying to dedicate that shot to my mom and dad. And oh. I was wondering if they were proud of me, but then after you shot me, I was like, they should be proud of me. This is where it is. I thought I missed it first, the way it deflected off of you. Oh, and I was also really quiet. Yeah, you just kept telling your story. I'm like, did I mm -hmm. hit him? I kept telling my tale. I was really invested. But I started thinking about my parents, you know? I haven't seen them for like a whole week or two. Sad. I miss them too, especially your mom. I, because she's nicer than your dad. Don't, don't hurt. No, <laughs> don't do it. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Last arrow. I'm a little bit scared about this one. This is the one Mark totally punched through the watermelon. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna cover my leg with my pants, compression shorts. Yeah, maybe don't look at my leg for now. If it can do significant damage like that, we're not gonna move on. If it can, we will do it again, bare skin with the 30 pound bow. We're not gonna do this one with the 50 pound bow. That seems a little unsafe for me. Glad you got some common sense. Thank you. It's been getting slightly better over the years, you know? <laughs> it's a slow grind. Yeah. You know, common sense isn't so common. All right, worst arrow, 30 pound bow, covered leg. Burn the hole. Huh, didn't go through your shorts. That's a good sign. Oh, did We're done. Yeah, we're done. Oh. We're done. Did it hit that? No, it's that. Oh, that one. Oh, oh. We're not doing that on bare skin. <laughs> it did go through my shorts. And not only did it go through my shorts, uh -huh. it went through a wad of my like underwear and compression shorts. Oh yeah. It went through three layers of stuff and oh. sliced a little divot into me. We're gonna take like a nice solid two minutes so I can clean this up and then show you all what it looks like. We do some stupid stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get a quick peek at this leg. If you want a longer peek, <laughs> join the YouTube memberships or Patreon. YouTube tends to not like what I'm about to show. Ah! That's it. <laughs> longer peek available elsewhere. Little peekers. You're such a tease. <laughs> Everyone tells me that. Just wait till I get that out of tub. Don't make me put the camera facing your butt only. Jake, you got it. You have to. I didn't sign up for you. this. <laughs> you didn't sign up for anything. <laughs> <laughs> so that arrow for you? Uh, no. Okay, how, Mark, hear me out. Okay. This arrow. Deal. I think it's a nice compromise. It's gonna hurt. I'll do the 30 pound bow. It's gonna be like a Charlie horse. And with your pants on, not gonna cut you at all. Yeah. Okay. I don't trust you with the 50 pound bow. You missed the watermelon three times, so. I saw your technique though, with your double fingers and your finger blocking technique and it seemed way better than mine. Cause I don't know what I was doing. I was like. <laughs> yeah, maybe take a few practice shots. At you? <sighs> at the watermelon? <laughs> <laughs> My student Mark gave me a few tips. I think I'm gonna hit him first try. Fire in the hole! <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Mark, you did that once. <laughs> I guess you had more, you know, misses, I mean, more hits than misses. Take two. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't miss this one, probably. Fire in the hole. <laughs> that hit. <sighs> Not as bad as I was expecting. I was expecting a lot worse based off that board hit. Yeah. But you hit high, it's up here. I'm really gonna have to ravel my pants up. Let's take a look. I bet you that'll be a bruise though. Yeah. But not as bad as you're expecting? Not as bad as I was expecting. Uh, okay, let's do the last arrow I tried. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> One and done. I'll check back in a couple days, show you my leg. Spoiler, my leg is pretty bad looking. Very bad. I'm gonna bandage it up a little bit. And I don't have my hot tub yet, so can't use that. <laughs> you got that one hot tub that you... My sauna thing? Yeah, your sauna thing. 
I don't know if that's the same. Like I said, I'll check in in a couple days, give you my final thoughts on blunt arrows, other than they suck and probably are pretty good for self-defense. Thanks for watching. Is that it? You got anything else? Floss your teeth. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the Blunt Arrows data review. Three days after the experiment, I was left with some scabbing, a ton of bruising, and a nasty puncture wound from the last Blunt Arrow I was hit with. That final shot left such a bad wound that I decided it would be smart to keep it covered with a Pro Heal Band-Aid that I tested in a previous video. Mark also suffered a decent amount of bruising from the one arrow he got hit with. So it's pretty clear to me, at least, that Blunt Arrows can absolutely absolutely be a practical, less lethal option, or even a lethal one. Especially with a higher draw strength, a more aggressive blunt tip, and a better aim than Mark and I, which I assume most people have. But those are just my thoughts, and I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments. Also, don't forget to join my YouTube memberships or Patreon by clicking the link in the description to get access to bonus content. And if you like this video, you should check out this one, where I test out Ninja weapons. That experiment gave us plenty of quality data.